What's up, everyone? Especially my PA trappers. So, I got these uh, number five Bridger Double Longs here. And you can see a big difference between these two. This is a very easy trap to do yourself. You're just gonna need a vise, a grinder, and a little bit of patience. Sharpie and a tape measure, or what I use as a gauge block. But, so here's your stock one. Let me stand up here, get you a full measurement. There's your stock one there, seven and a half. Here's your modified one. Six and a half. Just a hair under six and a half. So I figured I'd show this instead of with all the noise and that in the background, just in steps. The double long spring's a lot easier to do than the coil spring. Coil spring requires you to take all the springs off, obviously, and uh, the spring pin needs to be adjusted forward to allow the jaw to drop around and over it and just uh, a few other things. The offset ones, you ain't got to do that because the way the dog goes in the offset part of the jaw allows the, the jaws to lay correctly after you do this mod to the coil spring ones but the closed jaw ones require you to bend the spring pin as far forward and kind of tweak it to where it's in the shape of the jaw almost but so for the double long spring one you're going to set your trap you're going to zip tie the springs down uh, i use two zip ties do not trust that with one zip tie. I don't care how big your zip ties are. Just put two on there. Those go flying apart. They're painting about to get back down. They're kind of stout spring to just set with them already compressed that far, let alone when they're fully sprung. So once you do that, get your trap set, get that zip tied down. You're gonna have your jaws held up, straight up and down as if the trap was fully closed. I use a little gauge block. You can cut yourself out a little gauge block, but the measurement you're looking for is from the top of that frame post. You're gonna go from there, three eighths of an inch up, mark your lines on your jaws. You can see my little gauge block right there. Now I mark my lines. Then you're gonna pull your jaws out. And then you're going to put them in the vise. And you're going to vise them down. You're going to vise your jaw down right on the line. And then you're going to beat that over with a hammer. You're going to make the new bend right where your line is. And you're going to bend it over. Cut the excess off, because you're going to have a bunch of excess now. You're going to cut the excess off. You're going to want to leave. And you can see here. Going to want to leave a half inch of jaw tip there. Minimum. Maximum three quarter, or you're not going to get your levers to go down over top of them. You can see on a stock one, all the further that sticks out. And then here on my modified one, I just have them sticking out just a hair further, and that's that half inch. These about a quarter inch sticking out of there. And then after you bend all your jaw tips over and cut the excess off, you're just going to grind them down a little bit so they look nice. And you can kind of see how it's stepped in like that. So they'll fit back in the eyes here. That you can just do, grind a little, put them in, see if they go in, you want them nice and smooth. Don't take them down too far though. Leave them nice and stout, as thick as you can get them, but to where they are actually gonna pivot in the jaw post nicely. 
And after you do that, all you do is reassemble the trap. And then you end up with your trap. Your PA legal beaver double long spring with that big wide frame. And the trap really does not look that modified other than how far your dog post is extended out now. But it still looks very, very nice. That's a true mountain man's trap. And what a powerful trap. You do that 3 eighths of an inch from that jaw post up on the jaws on both sides, take them out, bend them over, cut the excess off every time, six and a half inch. So figured I'd share that, do it in kind of steps without all the loud noise. Till next time, everyone, have a good one.